Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace, love, and salutation to all you occupants pushing this truth and truth sincerity. I wanted to do this lesson on um, just basically staying in the spirit. You know, we just got past the Day of Atonement, which, um, you know, Salakia to the brothers and sisters. Um, just a lot of stuff going on. You know, um, I had to work the Day of Atonement. I wanted to put some lessons up during that day, but I feel like my, now it's more fitting to do these lessons now that the day, of the day of atonement is over with. You know, we're refreshing the spirit, but we have to keep keep in mind that these demonic entities and spirits keep on going. They don't sleep. So we have to just keep being refreshed to the spirit and how to conduct ourselves. And I'm speaking to my first first I'm speaking to myself first and foremost because I had a couple situations this week where I was my patience was really getting tested. And the only way I can just show my expression is just through this lesson as a learning experience and Lord willing, this is edifying to the body. So I'm going to start off in Ecclesiastes seven and verse nine, be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. And the RSV, it says, be not quick to anger for anger lodges in the bosom of fools. And we're in a period where these people are just mad at anything, you know, the cost of living, inflation, which we're in, we're in the beginning of sorrows. It's not even that bad. We're not even in the hard part yet, as the elder Atazawan, the Bishop Atazawan of the Jim Atlanta states, we're not in the hard part yet. But everybody's mad and angry about something. And at the end of the day, we have to remember the fruits of the spirit. Of the spirit. Two of them, I can, I can just go off the top, is love, joy, peace, and long-suffering. Actually, that's three. Because we're going to need to have a lot of love, joy, and peace, and long-suffering coming to these times. And today is what... I'm going I'm to put this up another day, but today is... Uh, <clears throat> today is September the 13th. Friday the 13th. <laughs> a demonic day. <laughs> Man, you can't make this up. Friday the 13th. All right? No wonder why this stuff is happening. I got to message this brother now about this day. That's the spirit. You're going to see a lot of demonic activity coming up, especially going to All Hallows Eve, so-called Halloween. You already see it in now. These people, they've already got the Halloween get up in the yard already now. All right. So we can't be uh, quick to be angry with these demonic entities and spirits. So I'm going to go to um, Ephesians. Ephesians, the sixth chapter. I think, it's, I think it's Ephesians 6 and verse 10. This is real quick. Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. So we got to be strong in the Lord, Yahweh Hashem El Shai. Because the Lord, he's the creator of all these spirits. So we got to be strong in the power of the Lord to able to defeat these spirits. They're going to come at us. They're going to get under our skin. They're going to attack us when we're asleep. It's going to be in a form of your boss. It's going to be a form of um, a woman. It's going to be a form of a family member. Whatever the case may be, we still got to be strong in the Lord. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And if you live in a major city, that wickedness is going to trickle down from these satanic groves that these uh, elites and these lesser luminaries have in place. And that's why you see all these people bugged out in your local uh, metropolitan cities, even the small cities. There's a demonic energy that's transmitted from these uh, satanic groves and these seances, all right, that Esau Edom does, and it transmits into these people every day. That's why these people want to already put up Halloween um, characters already when it's, it's, it's Friday, September the 13th, and that whole week. So it's spiritual wickedness in high places. It's a lot of stuff that we don't see behind the scenes 
that we have to be spiritually prepared against because demons hop on these people. They, they hop on these people quick, fast, in a hurry. And we have to be able to prepare and be equipped with these people. Let's go to verse 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. We have the truth according to the Bible. We know that there's certain scriptures in the Bible that tells us about demonic, the demonic entities and how to deal with them. And this scripture tells us plainly how to deal with it. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Not a lot of people want to do the right thing in today's time. They want to be wicked. And they're going to get their reward. All right. Which is uh, not a good reward. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. This 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 prepara this this gospel is a gospel of peace. You know, Elder Manak Zakba of the South Carolina camp did a, did a lesson about this guy that says why he's no longer a Hebrew Israelite. And he was saying well, he's always angry all the time. Well, if that's the case, man, you didn't read about the fruits of the spirit in Galatians, the fifth chapter. This is a gospel of peace. This is what we're leading on to. Yet, of course, we get vexed. We get angry, but we can't be too angry to where we just miss out on the focus of this ministry. And I think a lot of Jake's, they misunderstand this gospel. You're supposed to be angry 24 seven. We have joy in this gospel. We have hope. OK, we have hope that the Lord is going to deliver us. We just got to fight. It's a whole fight, man. Like you got this Canelo fight coming up. It's uh, Canelo. He's a so-called Mexican. And I forgot the other guy's name, but he's a so-called Puerto Rican. It's going to be fireworks with this fight, man. But it's a whole fight. Okay? Canelo gets off guard. He's going to get hit with a left hook, and that's going to be his ass. You know? Canelo's a very... No matter how you feel about Canelo, Canelo's a very distinguished fighter. I like Canelo to a certain extent. Now, personally, I, I like Benavidez better, but the gist of it is you got to be on point. Uh, verses uh, 16, above all, taking the shit of faith. That's the main thing, having faith. Having faith that the Lord is going to get rid of all these demonic entities that stand in front of you. You might have an evil ass boss, evil woman, you know, people trying to. And, and I'm going to say this too, man. These, these people, you know, that's why we say. And that's why the apostle ever said, stay away from these people, man. Don't be going to no fair reunions and all this other stuff because they might have a smile on their face and they might have so-called good intentions for you. But them demons that's on them, they want to put all them demons, they want to load all them demons that's on them onto you. Okay? So don't don't get don't trust in these people who are outside of truth and baby won't we want the best for you. No, you want they want to unload all their the, the demons that's on them, want to unload all them demons onto you. Okay, that's why it says, above all, taking the shit of faith. You got to have faith in Yahweh Hashem El Shai that he's going to fight your battles for you. All we got to do is just do what the Lord required for us to do, according to 1 Peter. Make your call and election short. Give all diligence to make your call and election short. Continuing on, it says, whereby, <clears throat> excuse me, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the most high. And here's the main point. Here's one of the main points. Praying always. We got to pray. You got to pray. You got to pray to get Satan off you. You got to pray to stay in the spirit. You got to pray for protection when you leave the house. You got to thank the Lord when you come back to the house. You got to thank the Lord having a roof over your head. Food on the table. Food and raiment. Like it says in 1 Timothy 6, food, well, food and raiment be there for content. Because a lot of people out here, they, they, they effed up, man. A lot of these women out here, a lot of these men, especially in these suburbs, they walking around right now just bugged out in the suburbs. And this ain't just an inner city, uh, uh, city problem. People in the suburbs is really effed up out here. So we got to be thankful and have gratitude that Yahweh Bashim al Shah is giving us another day to get right with him. And that's where the Day of Atonement comes in. But we still got battles past the Day of Atonement, if you know what I'm saying. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites. Psalms 148 and 14. Okay. 
Now, uh, I'm going to go to um, Psalms 46 and 10. Psalms 46 and 10. Be still and know that I am the most high. So whatever situation we go through, it might be at your job or a woman or whatever the case may be, we got to be still and know that, hey, Yahweh Shem El Shah is dealing with us and he's working with us. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. He's going to get rid of the world economic form. He's going to get rid of the elite bacon families. He's going to get rid of all these higher upper, upper echelon heathens. Okay? So we can't be afraid. We got to fear you. How about Shimei Shah? Right? Bear with me for a sec. So continuing on, it says, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, Salah. That's heavy, all right? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is with us. So we can't fret and forget that the Lord is dealing with us, man. And I'm going to just end it off on this. Well, I got I got one more. Um, Isaiah, excuse me, not Isaiah, it's like it. <clears throat> Got two more. Psalms 55 and 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. And that's the importance of prayer once again. We got to pray. We got to pray when we get up, when we go about our day-to-day, -day, that the Lord the Lord uh, guides us in our day-to-day. Because -day. we're dealing with all these demonic spirits, Satan is just on the prowl. And I'm going to do a lesson on these satanic high holy days. Like I said, it's Friday night, September the 13th, Friday the 13th. There's all types of demonic entities that's out here. Then you got All Hallows Eve, a.k.a. Halloween coming up. Boy, when I can do a lesson on uh, satanic high holy days. I used to do a lessons back in the day about it, but I got to get back into it. You know, so, you know, these people are already putting up demonic Halloween entities up. All right, so we got to cast our burdens upon the Lord and we got to have faith that he's going to deliver us, man. You know, you know, we just got through, we got through the day of atonement, but we still got battles to fight. These, these demons and these spirits are ramping up. So I'm going to leave it off with this. This is Exodus uh, 14 and 14. Exodus 14 and verses uh, 14. It's one of my favorite scriptures. The Lord, the Lord's name is Yahweh. And the only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai. The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. And the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. All right. We're not out here trying to beat up people upside the head physically. But I, I tell you what, you put a curse up on these people. You put a prayer up and that's going to do far more, more damage than your fist or bat or whatever weapon that you thought you had. That's going to do any damage. All right. So, hey, Lord, one that was edifying, you know, to brothers, we just got to, you know, pass the day with Tome. We got to keep on pushing. We got to keep on fighting, man, because it's still a battle at the end of the day. I think it's in First Timothy where it says, fight the good fight of the faith. And that's what we got to do. We know, we have prayer. We have the brotherhood. We have, hey, man, we got the word. We got fellowship. We got the Hebrew. So on and so forth, man. So with that, I want to say shalom.